of a massive space rock hurtling into Earth has got quite a lot of people nervous. It's understandable that people are naturally afraid of asteroids. If one were to really make contact with our planet, it could create massive tidal waves, a brand new ice age, and an explosion that is unparalleled in the course of human history. Even though the movies like to show asteroids creating havoc for humans, the idea is not just some work of fiction by movie studios. The truth is that asteroids do pose a real, credible threat to all of humanity. And to make things even worse, NASA has already detected massive asteroids that are on a straight path for Earth. This is where NASA's DART mission enters the picture. The first planetary defense project to test a method of deflecting an asteroid on course with our home planet. So, what does DART do? When will it be up and running? And most importantly, how will it save us from the biggest threat to humanity? October 22nd, 2021. This was the day an enormous asteroid named 2021 SM3 came flying by Earth at breakneck speeds. With a diameter of around 525 feet, this space object is even bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Perhaps the most frightening part about this experience was that scientists were only able to detect the object one month in advance to its nearby passing, meaning that if its trajectory was just slightly changed towards Earth, we would have had no way of stopping its destruction. This is just one of the many close calls that Earth has each year with asteroids, so it's no wonder why NASA has made it a priority to create a reliable system to prevent a horrific collision. Formerly titled the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, NASA's DART probe launched only two months after this close call while riding atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The mission will all come to a head later next year. That's when the 1,210 pound spacecraft will collide with a minor asteroid doubled by Morpheus at a speed of roughly 4 miles per second. This will happen in late September or early October 2022 and will hopefully modify the space rock's orbit around its bigger partner, Nikos. After the collision, astronomers down on Earth will measure the difference to see how the emissions this kinetic impact approach of asteroid collection is. If the results are substantial, this will become the tactic mankind may use in the future in the long run to Earth in its sights. Ideally, the impact should shorten Dimorphos' orbit by several minutes, although the exact amount is subject to change. DART will prove to NASA that a spacecraft can navigate itself to a target asteroid and collide with it on its own. Now, how does DART work and what sort of next-gen technology has NASA equipped it with? The DART spacecraft is tiny compared to others in NASA's arsenal. The spacecraft's core is a box that is just a metre wide on all sides, with two roll-out solar arrays that give it a span of roughly 40 feet. 
Darts electronic propulsion technology uses a constant flow of charged ions to deliver a mild push. To get going, the spaceship will circle around Earth many times using its electronic engine to gradually build the necessary speed to break out from orbit. It will then start the long journey to Didymos, potentially passing another asteroid named 2001 CD21 along the way. DART actually has only one piece of science equipment named Draco, a high resolution camera that also serves to navigation system. Inspired by a camera of NASA's mobilizing mission, which may have escaped from the past, but it's only possible to be a space agency called CubeSat to 